from a station working for you. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. One person is dead after a shooting on the near north side of Indianapolis. Police were called just after 945 this morning to a home on Cornelius Avenue, just north of 38th Street. That's near Crown Hill Cemetery. Officers there found a victim dead of a gunshot wound at the scene. The shooting victim's identity has not been released. Once again, the COVID-19 numbers trending in the wrong direction here in Indiana. Here's a look at the newest numbers released by the state health department. 4,879 new cases reported today. This is the sixth consecutive day that Indiana has surpassed 4,000 new daily cases. 63 new deaths were also reported today related to COVID-19, and almost all of those deaths took place over the past week. More schools are being impacted by the pandemic. Today is the last day for in-class learning for students at Fortville Elementary School for the next few weeks. Starting tomorrow, Fortville Elementary students will move to full-time virtual learning. Mount Vernon Community Schools says that's because of a significant number of school staff. They must be absent, absent for an extended period of time. Fortville Elementary students are scheduled to return to the classroom Monday, November 30th, right after Thanksgiving break. Time now for a check of our Tuesday forecast with Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. And Lauren, we've been enjoying the warm still across central Indiana with temperatures in the 70s. That comes to an end here later on this evening with the passage of a cold front. And that cold front will have the potential to give us some storms and maybe an isolated severe thunderstorm warning or two. We're under the marginal risk for severe weather later on tonight. And there could be a stray shower or so before sunset. But most of the rain activity and storm activity will be after uh, sunset and then into the early morning hours on Wednesday. That's when the actual front comes through. Once that front passes, temperatures will be much cooler this evening as we fall into the 70s and 60s. Highs tomorrow will only be in the 50s with partly cloudy skies. All right, Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.